everybody, this is Hans the Roman Reader, coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles, and today we've got something that you're going to be able to find at Costco. I've seen them there. This is Ashahaka Thicut Noodles with Spicy Mala Chili Sauce Pack. Twelve packs! I'm only going to make one today, though. So, yeah, let me crack into this sucker. Thank you to the folks over at Asha Noodle in California for shooting this over. These are made in Taiwan. How's everybody doing? It is October 25th, 2020. Here's what they look like. I did one of these recently that uh, came in a, uh, what do you call it? An exotic nudes box. Go to exoticnudes.com and use the coupon code the Ramen, oh, Ramen Raider 15 for a discount. Thank you. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm doing this one again because the Asha folks sent me a big box of it, and I thought sounds good. Chili salt. So I figured I'd do these up now. Nice. So I'm sure by now my uh, notification to all of you has gone out, but. In case you have been under a rock, this show in this format is going bye bye because basically I have small children and they're loud and it's really hard to do a show when you've got kids screaming in the background. It's their job to scream. It's it's fine, but it just makes the format just a little stressful. So I am going to curtail it and hold it back until the coronavirus goes away. So please, wear your masks. The more masks that are worn, the quicker the coronavirus will go away. Don't be like going in big groups of people and just like rubbing on each other and junk. Don't be like sneezing at like people. Don't like go, like literally find a crowd of people and just like snort a bunch of black pepper and just start sneezing at them like a machine gun. Don't do that. Because that'll keep the show away longer and my kids out of school. So when my kids go back to school, all the time in the world to do the show. So now you know. But I will be doing more, uh, what do you call them? Uh, like Facebook ones, uh, Facebook Lives and YouTube Live and Instagram Lives, so don't worry about that. We got cooked noodles in boiling water for four minutes. Please adjust cook time longer for a softer noodle. Strain noodles after cooking, after making, Preference, add sauce packet, mix it in, enjoy while warm. Alright, so let's. Here's what Taiwanese dry noodles kind of look like. Check that out. These are air dried, they're not fried. They also don't have like tons and tons and tons of ingredients, which is a good thing for the people who don't like pronouncing long words. I love long words. One of my biggest peeves is when people uh, abbreviate words that are fun to say. Like, uh, taking guacamole and turning it into guac. Why would you deny yourself the wonder and happiness of saying guacamole? I mean, it's a really, really good word to say. Is it that hard? Can't you spend that extra three quarters of a second to give yourself the enjoyment of saying Guacamole. You can embellish it. You can have fun with it. Right, come on. Silly. Silly. Now it's time for our quote from Momo Fukuando Speaks. This is a book of quotes from the man who invented instant noodles. And while this isn't exactly an instant noodle, it's close enough. So, quote number 81. A company will get stuck in a rut unless it keeps taking on new challenges, the same goes for life. Very true. So let's see what's going on. We're gearing up for Halloween. We went and got our pumpkins. We got two pumpkins. Between them, we got 65 pounds worth of pumpkin. They're big. You wanna see? You wanna see our pumpkins? I can show you our pumpkins. Here, let me grab one. I'll show you our pumpkins. Yeah. 
Here's a pumpkin. And here's a pumpkin, and they're large. Whew, and they're freaking heavy. So yeah, we'll be doing pumpkins. And right now, my wife and the children are in the amply large spaced living room at our apartment living domicile. Our apartment home, as they like to call it. And uh, yeah, they're making gingerbread houses, but they're like Halloween themed gingerbread houses that uh, my wife's aunt got the kids. Thank you very much. Yeah, Whew. those pumpkins are heavy. But, uh, yeah, we got them costumes. Miles is gonna be Baby Shark. Uh, Mimi's gonna, Mimi's a, uh, Rainbow Princess. Very fitting. And Kit has got a, uh, what do you call it? She's got a zebra costume. It's just like, you know, an adult onesie. It's pretty cool. I've worn it a couple times. It's pretty neat. But now, I don't know, I'm kind of playing around with the idea maybe she can be Mommy Shark and I can be Daddy Shark, so... I don't know, that song... If you don't have kids and you don't know about the song... Baby Shark, don't look it up. Your kids will immediately, it's like... It's like meth for children, like audible meth. And they will just start singing it, everything will be about Baby Shark, and you'll want to die. And it just will not stop. It'll go on forever and ever and ever. Just keep that in mind if your children are not in tune with Baby Shark. If you play it once, that's the first time that you will hear it for the rest of your life. Yeah, I'm not kidding. So, yeah, we went and we got pumpkins and costumes, and today we just took a stroll and got some candy and some groceries. I took the, uh, the old stroller and the uh, trolley out. It was nice. It's cold. All of a sudden, it just got real cold. This morning, it got down to, uh, gosh, like at 9 in the morning, it was 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That's zero degrees Celsius for our friends in the uh, areas that use logical things like the metric system. But, uh, yeah. Chili. Speaking of chili, this is the Asha chili sauce noodle. See what I did there? That's groovy. That's groovy. So now we're going to take this sauce. Yeah. Snip the tip. Ooh. And dump it all up in this noodles business. Yeah. It's so easy, ladies and gentlemen. Four minutes, some boiling water. It's really all you need. There you go. Look at that. It is done. And that's it. I know some of you will say, oh, you should leave some more water in. And it does say on the package, do it to your preference. But I'm doing it as it says. Strain to your preference. My preference is waterless. So many people give me, give me crap about uh, the fire noodles. I follow those ones. Those ones say to add water of an exact amount, and then people go like, Dude, it's all soupy. You shouldn't have it that way. I follow the directions. It's the rule. If I don't, then how am I going to afford all companies a level playing field? But no, there's no... I mean, if you want to make this into chili soup and you love it that way, do it. If you want to add peanut butter, do it. Come on. Uh -huh. Cheers.
Mm-hmm. Nice burn on it. It's gonna have a sweet, a salty, a nice chilliness, chili spice to it. Yeah. And the noodles, I mean, as you can see, they're really thick. Man, I want to scarf all this down, but I can't do that. You know, if I did that right now, there wouldn't be any beauty shots, and it's time for the beauty shot. Bowl. Noodle. Chashu. Uh, it's still slightly frozen, but that works out perfectly. Get nice uniform slices as behooves me. how this works out because this is fresh fresh egg let's see how I do they probably are not so marinated at this point but oh, a little bit a little bit Children are getting up to mischief, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. This is an extra large six minute and 30 second egg prepared lovingly by my beautiful wife. You know, six minutes and 30 seconds, huh? Some of these things come out like just perfect and sometimes they just, I don't know what the deal is. I haven't been in here long enough for the center to congeal. I mean, it's only been here. I guess there's like all sorts of different sizes of eggs that fit into the category of extra large and medium and large and all that, so. These, I mean, it's not that they don't look nice, that's for sure. Beautiful, beautiful eggs done up skillfully by the amazing lady who I'm lucky enough to call my wife. He's nice! Have you guys all watched the new Borat movie? God, you need to watch that if you haven't. It's freaking... He's nice! A little bit of sesame seed. Maybe a little bit more. So sesame seed. Now it's getting dark. Dang it. Dang it! And then I've got something new I'm going to add in. 
I had to use a different can because this came in a pouch. Make sure you can see this. So it's like, I don't know if you can see that, yeah. Shichimi Togarashi. Let's give this a try. I used one of my curry cans for it. Uh, I could put... Do I want to use this or do I want to use Laogun? It doesn't need Laogun, Ma. That smells pretty spicy. And yeah, I don't think we really need to do a whole heck of a lot else to it. It looks pretty good to me. So let's think about making a trip to Costco to get some noodles, huh? Huh? We should do it. Get yourself some noodles. Now let's watch the moves of the amazing Rotato. Well, let's put on a different song because the Rotato says it's just too depressing for him, too wistful. Here we go. Enjoyment of your instant noodles each and every day. Have a good one. Bye-bye.